just so you know, the musculoskeletal syndrome of menopause is real, is all the orthopedic injuries that happen to women during that menopause transition. And if you're in your 40s like me, welcome to the club of breaking all the time having a baseline four out of 10 pain and having doctors tell you you have frozen shoulder, uh, glute tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, rotator cuff tendonitis, your ankle stiff, Charlie horses, pain running down your leg, uh, just widespread joint pain, diagnosed with fibromyalgia, maybe you have RA, but no, it's just the musculoskeletal syndrome of menopause because you thought estrogen was just all about boobs and vaginas, but it actually touches like every system in your body and orthopedically, Think about this. Let me turn you on to something. You know that women are more likely to tear their ACL, especially if they're a teenage athlete, the week before their period because their hormones shift their connective tissue. You know relaxin softens the cervix so a baby can fall out your pelvis. Why are we so surprised that estrogen helps us, testosterone helps us orthopedically? Yes, women also have testosterone. As you enter the menopause transition, you don't remodel your tendons as well. You don't make muscle as easily. You have this body recomposition that makes your arms look like ham because you are starting to lose muscle mass. It's just not as easy. It doesn't mean you can't make muscle mass because women and men have the same outcomes with resistance training. But now we can't drive it like we stole it. Now we have to be intentional with our life because we're high maintenance beings because estrogen left the party. It was a bestie to us. It helped us control inflammation and make healthy muscles. And now that it's leaving, we have to be a try hard. So this is where I talk about, you need to do 10 minutes of mobility a day to maintain the joint range of motion through the whole range. We need to start weightlifting three times a week so that we can make our muscles big and strong in a good way so that we don't have sarcopenia which is muscle loss and then we also have to lift up heavy things to make our bones remodel so we don't get osteoporosis and postmenopause. so this perimenopause is the beginning of that fun ride but you don't have to be afraid you do just have to modify your behaviors to ward things off you just have to be intentional to get out of the hole and me and many of our, my friends are trying to tell you how to save yourself before you fall in the hole but sometimes we don't know what we don't know until we need it and so hope this helps